Welcome, welcome back. A new book is highlighting letters written by local students who served in World War II. It's called No Forgotten Fronts, From Classrooms to Combat. And here to talk more about it is the author and Mesa College Assistant Professor Lisa Shapiro. Good morning to you. Thank you so much. Fascinating read. I just got into it last night, but you can't put it down once you start reading some of these letters. So tell us the, the, the roots behind it and about this amazing professor at San Diego State College at the time. At the time it was San Diego State College and after Pearl Harbor, Harbor, all of these young men and women from the campus went into military service. Dr. Post, this geography professor, asked them to write to him. And he took excerpts from all of their letters and then he made a newsletter. They called it the Aztec Newsletter. And he sent it out all over the world. It kept them connected. It's how they learned where their friends were. They were homesick for the campus. They loved getting news from mm -hmm. home. And it also told their families where they were were all around the world. So you said he went around campus and got addresses from, from everybody. He that took was a little box of work. note yes. cards, uh -huh. collected addresses, and then when the students wrote to him, he prepared this newsletter. He got the typing classes to help. He got the fraternities to help. And they sent the newsletter out to everybody. For four years, every month. Every single month for all four years. Now, and, and, and these letters, once you start reading them, you realize you, you're reading history in these letters. I mean, you're being told about the war from from a standpoint of maybe training, maybe from the Pacific, maybe from, from Europe. The letters are full of emotion. They're mm -hmm. really inspirational because they're eyewitness accounts of battles mm -hmm. and then people talk about the emotion they felt when they lost friends. And so I don't think the students knew they were writing a history of sure. World War II, but letter by letter, that's exactly oh, what they did. Were there a few that really stood out to you that uh, I've, I've read a few that it's like, they're all amazing because you're, it, it's, just, it's just from the van point of being there. It's amazing. There are two letters that always bring tears to my eyes, mm -hmm. and one is written by a young paratrooper. He didn't know where he was going. He wrote Destination Unknown, but he described his last view of the United States as his ship sailed out of New York and passed the Statue of Liberty. And he wrote, all those tough paratroopers had tears in their eyes. Yeah. He didn't know he was going to Normandy, and a few months later, one of his best friends wrote to say, there was one little fellow we all knew who was killed yeah. on D-Day in Normandy. And he said, I can remember lying on the grass discussing our ideals and hopes. Yes. They knew what they were fighting for, and they believed in American values and ideals. So many phenomenal letters. Lisa Shapiro, the name of the book is No Forgotten Fronts, From Classrooms to Combat. Where can you find it? It's available from Naval Institute Press. It's available wherever books are sold. Okay. Thank you so much. I can't wait to finish it. Thank we're you. We're right back with more Good Morning San Diego right after.